Elevator firm at fault in nurse's accident. A Fort Worth hospital is looking for a new elevator contractor after a nurse was critically injured last month when she stepped onto an elevator that continued moving. The AP reports that Chief Executive Robert Early of John Peter Smith Hospital said last week that hospital officials intend to hold current contractor ThyssenKrupp Elevator Corp. accountable for the January 20 accident. According to the hospital, nurse Karen Stratford was getting on an elevator, but the lift did not stop moving up as she stepped into it with her right foot. Stratford then lost her balance as the elevator continued to rise and was crushed. According to her lawyer, Frank Branson, she remains in a coma and faces lifelong injuries. She's been in the hospital's ICU since the mishap. According to documents obtained by the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, the hospital's elevators were out of service at least 42 times from January 2018 to this January. Yikes. According to the Star-Telegram, ThyssenKrupp is also being sued by a nurse from another Fort Worth hospital for a January 23, 2018 elevator accident. According to the lawsuit, Rogina Wright, a nurse at Texas Health Harris Methodist Hospital and an administrative supervisor at Harris Alliance, was in an elevator at Harris Alliance when it fell several stories, causing her to be injured in a violent landing.